from Washington? The Delano coach was talking about, um, you know, especially late in games the past couple nights, um, you know, guys, fatigue seems to have hit a little bit just with the stretch you guys have been on with the schedule. Did you notice that tonight, that maybe there were some, some heavy legs and, um, you know, just, just fatigue was starting to wear on you guys a little bit? Um, definitely, definitely, man. You know the schedule we're playing now. With that, after that break we had, you know, it's 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 a big schedule, man. We're playing every other day. Tomorrow we play again tomorrow, and you know we got to be able to fight through that. And you know, it's a mental thing as well as a physical thing. So we just got to be able to piece it together for the whole 40 minutes, fatigue or not, and you know, just be able to come out the win. But definitely, man, fatigue has been a part of it. But you know, man, we're just we're 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 gonna go at it. We're gonna fight it straight straight head on, and just be able to push through it. And hopefully, we could bounce back tomorrow and get us one. Sam McEwen. How nice was it to see a couple of those three pointers go in early, and how much confidence does that give you going forward? Um, you know, my confidence has never fa f fell with shooting the ball. You know, my teammates believe in me, and that's all I need, man. Well, I don't care what anyone else has to say about it. My coach believes in me, my teammates believe in me. So, you know, go it going in obviously feels good, but every time I shoot it, I think it's going in. So, you know, it feels good, but just trying to get better as a team and just continue doing the things we have to do in order to pull games out, play for 40 Whitberg minutes said, and play through fatigue. My, sorry for interrupting. No, there. it's okay. Hoiberg said you guys worked on something this morning. Was there was there something that you tweaked a little bit that, that helped you make those first couple? Um, you know, Coach Hoiberg has been a, a great shooter in his time, so he always tells me mainly what my shot is kind of bringing the ball to the side of my face instead of, you know, bringing it straight from the pocket. So that was definitely what I was, you know, focused on today, and he was helping me with today. So, yeah, but we, we, we work on it every day, man, with coach, with other coaches. So, you know, it's just it's good to see it fall, but we need to, we need to find a way to come up with that win. Thanks. Respect that. Hey, Lana, what has what is Coach Hoiberg told you about how to, you know, just prepare for, for playing on back-to-back -back nights? Is it How much is of it is just getting off your feet and resting? How much of it is, is mental preparation or is it a little bit of both? It's both, man. It's both. You know, we have a great um, training, training, training team. So they're gonna be with us tonight, working on our bodies, whatever we need, ice, whatever. So it's kind of, it's, it's definitely getting off your feet, and it's definitely mental. But you gotta do the things that you need for your body. Everyone has their own that they need therapy with, and that they need to recover from. So everyone's gonna be doing that tonight, and you know, be ready to be on our feet tomorrow and be able to get get this one. Jacob Padilla. Coach Hoiberg said, kind of when things got tougher later on in the game, uh, you guys stagnated a little bit uh, and, instead of really getting the ball movement and man movement going again. What do you, as one of the leaders uh, out there on the court and the other guys, need to do to prevent that from happening and that stagnation to really setting in when things get tough? Um, you know, we see, we see it like throughout the beginning of the game when we're moving. When we're moving, so we just gotta, you know, stick to what works, man. When we, when we do see it happening, when we do get stagnant, we just gotta be able to, you know, run the get game, run our actions, cut, do what we do best, man. And you know, when we go away from that, it's gonna be hard for us to win, cause you know, we gotta we gotta do what we need to do in order to pull out wins in this league, cause you know, it's the toughest league that there is. So, you know, when you fall away from what what your plan is and what you plan to do and move the ball and all that, you know, it's gonna be hard to come out with it. So, you know, I feel like as one of the leaders, we got I gotta be in a you know, a position to help guys get in their spot and move the ball and stuff like that. So, you know, coach coach tells us all the time, you know, if we play the way we play, you know, we could play with everyone. And we know that we could play with anyone too. So, you know, we're going to get better. We're going to continue to move the ball and make that make that thing move around, man. And when it flies around, it looks good and we get open shots. And, you know, that's how we love to play. And we just got to stick with that for 40 minutes. All right, last one from Andrew. How's it going? Um you mentioned just now that you spoke about the Big Ten, you know, being the best conference in the league. Um, you know, with that, you know, there's also a lot of great players. Um, obviously, you know, Aaron Wiggins was able to have a great game night with 21 and 10. Um, can you talk about just obviously as a guard having to, you know, go out there and compete against him? Just what, um, what you thought of kind of trying to compete against him tonight, and what you thought of his of, of his game uh, in general? Uh, you know, I feel like more of them, it's more with us. We got to be able to do what we have to do in order to pull out games. You know, it's collectively. You know, we got to be able to play defense. We got to be able to move the ball on offense. So, you know, it's not – there's a lot of good players in this league, but it's never on one player on the other team, man. It's about us. And if we want to win, we have to do what we know what we have to do. So, obviously, that's playing defense and stopping the other main guys. But, you know, we, we got to just come out, play team defense, and hopefully we could come out with the win. All right, better wrap it up. Thanks, Lana. No problem.